excuse me. <clears throat> I'm just not not feeling myself today, students. I think I might be ill. Oh, I think I can make it into the doctor's office, but I'm really concerned about how much health insurance costs and how much is this going to cost me? Because I know I, I, I have health insurance through my employer. They offered me a plan at the beginning of the year, but I just can't remember all the details. And mm, I'm starting to feel better all of a sudden. Okay. The details of health insurance and how much it costs you as the end consumer, super important. And to understand all the details of your health insurance options, again, super important because if you get sick or you have to go to the hospital, you want to understand at least an approximation of how much it's going to cost you. And the only way to do that is to analyze your options. Now, there are two main determinants of what is going to drive how much um, insurance costs you throughout the year. Whether you choose a low deductible plan or a high deductible plan, and also how many people are riding on your health insurance with you. Do you have a spouse who needs to ride on your, um, your health insurance plan? Do you have kids that need to ride on your health insurance plan? Because those two things, the deductible and how many people are on your plan, are the primary drivers of how expensive health insurance is going to be for you. And this is before you even get in to the doctor's office. Right? If you're completely healthy for the full year, you're still going to have to pay something to the health insurance providers. So what I have down here is a table, and we can understand approximately how much it costs you as the end consumer per month. So I've got two different plans here a high deductible plan and a low deductible plan. Let's talk about what that means. A high deductible plan means that before the insurance company pays anything, you are gonna pay the first $6,000 of medical treatment. Yeah. Even if you have health insurance, you will be paying the first $6,000 of treatment under a high deductible plan. That's like, that's pretty hard to understand because you think that you're like insured, right? Like I have health insurance though. How is this bill $6,000? Oh, well, it's because you chose the high deductible plan. So that may appear crazy to you, but I do want you to, to think about something. If you are like a pretty healthy person and not too terribly accident prone, then actually a high deductible plan might be worth it for you because they actually come cheaper. Follow with me. Although you have a $6,000 deductible, if you go to the doctor for your annual physical or a wellness exam, that's a no deductible event and your health insurance will cover that 100%. Now, there's a good reason why. We want people going to the doctor once a year just in case you know, something happens. We want preventative care. Like if you go in there and then they're like, well, you look great. You know, everything sounds good. You can leave. I'll see you again next year. That's like a good thing to have a relationship with your doctor and your primary care physician. So insurance companies want to encourage that. And as a result, they foot the bill 100%. So your wellness exams will be covered. Now your monthly premium, this is how much you have to pay the insurance company. Under a high deductible plan, individuals, so just you, if you're just insuring yourself, it can be pretty cost efficient, right? Only about 40 bucks a month. If you're getting this through your employer and they're subsidizing or paying for part of yours, you could have a pretty cheap bill here. Individual plus spouse, this is where it starts to get more expensive. You can see that the price jumped $300 in this example. If you're married, and then you decide to put your spouse on your plan, that's going to raise your monthly premiums. Remember, this is per month significantly. Individual plus children. So if you have one child, one or more children, um, then your it goes from 39 to 302. And then if you put the whole family on there, your spouse, your kids, then it gets super expensive. And again, remember, if anybody 
gets sick or needs to use urgent care or go to the hospital. I hope that doesn't happen for you, but under a high deductible plan, you're responsible for that first $6,000. So who needs a high deductible plan? People who are not going to the doctor very frequently. Because if you're going to go to the doctor pretty frequently, you might consider a low deductible plan. Under a low deductible plan, you have anywhere between, it depends on the plan, but one and two thousand dollars will be your deductible. So you're still responsible for a substantial chunk of your medical treatment, the first one to two thousand dollars. Your wellness exams are free, just like in the other plan. But look what happens. The price increases from $39 under high deductible all the way to $141 for just the person under the low deductible plan. And then $521 when you had a spouse, $493 without a spouse but with children, and then $895 when you had everybody, spouse and children, for the whole family. I mean, $900 a month? For health insurance for the whole family and you're still paying two thousand dollars now if there are complicated medical histories then yeah this this might be worth it because medical payments can be horrific they can really really negatively impact your financial health so if you know that there's a big surgery coming up in the future or there is some accident prone nature with your kids. I'm speaking about my two kids. They are, they are in dire need of a low deductible plan. Uh, then you might want to go for the low deductible plan because just one trip to the emergency room. This is a true story for my, my youngest kid. Cost $10,000. He fell and fractured his skull on a playscape was so scary we we're like oh my goodness we like rushed him to the hospital and luckily everything's okay like he didn't have any bleeding cerebral bleeding bleeding in the brain but that trip we were in that emergency room for three hours cost ten thousand dollars right so we're talking about expenses that can be magnificently huge so you have to have medical insurance and the question is do you want a high deductible plan or a low deductible plan. And so you're kind of like rolling the dice every year that you choose this because you're not quite sure what the future is going to hold. But at least now you know the implications of it. High deductible plans without families, pretty affordable. But if something bad happens, it's going to be super expensive. Low deductible plans for families are incredibly expensive in terms of the premiums that you pay the insurance companies. But if something bad happens, it's not so much of a financial catastrophe. Which one are you going to choose? Have a great day.